What if you put $400 into a cryptocurrency and it blew up and turned into over a hundred thousand dollars? Well, that's exactly what this trader right here did. So what if you had access to see exactly what this person was buying and selling in the future and copy their trades for profit? Well, that's the beauty of blockchain technology is that everybody's wallet is completely public and when you find it, you can track it. And with a little bit of detective work, you can find some of the most profitable traders in the entire crypto space and follow what they do. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how you can do that step-by-step, 100% for free as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while that was definitely some good opportunity to get in on these coins before they blow up, the absolute best way to make it in the crypto space is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to find profitable traders in the blockchain and copy their trades for profit. Okay. So obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not convincing you to buy or sell any specific cryptocurrency based on this information or attract any of the wallets that I'm mentioning in this video. But with that being said, let's jump over my shoulder into my computer and show you how this works. All right, so the first major step in this process is finding wallets to track, okay? So thankfully there's a free tool that's gonna help us do this. And this is Dex Screener if you're not familiar with it. So what is Dex Screener? Well, it's a website where you can go look at every single decentralized exchange out there on any blockchain and look at the tokens that are trading on it. And anytime a new token's created, it'll automatically get listed on Dex Screener. And you can watch, you know, the charts uh, really from the first you know, seconds that it starts trading. So what you can do is you can go look at any token that you can possibly think of on Dex Screener, all right? And you can look at a token like a whiff that was wildly successful. And you can actually look at this tab called the top traders. Okay. And what that's going to do is show you people who made the most money off of this coin. So hint, hint, that might be a wallet that you want to watch out for. And now, unfortunately, you can't go back in time and copy the trades that these people did, but you can do the next best thing. You can look at their wallets uh, because these people have a proven track record of finding at least something really good early and then watching what they do next to inform your next move for trading coins. Now, I'm not gonna use Whiff as an example because when I filter by the top traders here, most of these people are putting in really large amounts of money, okay, in order to achieve this type of results because Whiff is a massive coin, you know, it's a $3 billion market cap. So even some of the really profitable people could have bought in with, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars uh, and made good profits that way. This is based on total profit, not necessarily uh, ROI. So what I'm going to do is look at a different coin with a smaller market cap, okay, and look at the top traders here to demonstrate how this works. So this is the FIW coin. I'm not actually going to say the coin's name. Uh, I actually blurted it out on my screen here. Uh, you can just go look up this ticker on Solana. You'll see why. You can get my video banned from YouTube, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go to the top traders here. Uh, and so why I picked this project, it's related to WIF, uh, the WIF deployer. Uh, the person who created WIF had some you know, activity on this project. And uh, that's how I found out about it by actually tracking these wallets on chain. So I'm giving you an insight to my process. But if you look at the top traders here, you can see this wallet right here turn, you know, $437 into $102,000. Okay. This one turned $145 into $70,000. So what we can do is inspect these wallets activity on chain uh, to see what else they're buying. Okay. So first of all, I'll just filter by this. So you can actually see on deck screener, it will show uh, where you bought like where they bought and then when they sold. And so that's going to give you insight to this trader's activity where, you know, buying and selling is not always a single event where you just click a button, click buy, and then click a button and click sell, uh, you know, some random point. It's usually like a single buy or multiple buys and then multiple sells uh, to realize their profit because nobody perfectly knows what the price is going to do next. So anyways, um, you, you, this is how you can find, you know, profitable traders is by looking at the top traders in this list. A couple things to watch out for here. You want to make sure that you're finding wallets that actually bought the tokens. Um, you know, when they sold them, sometimes people would just be selling the tokens with no buy here. Um, maybe they purchased from a different wallet. Okay. And then send it to this wallet. You can go inspect that, but it's not going to give you a very good idea of their P&L. Maybe it's the developer of the project or some other person who is connected to it who received tokens for free. You want to verify that they're actually buying and selling 
uh, from the wallet in order to watch out for that. And so what you're going to do uh, at this point is take the address and go try to find other things that they're purchasing and then look to see if they're profitable on other trades. Because sure, somebody could be right once, but what you want to find somebody who's consistently uh, right where you can use them as you know a signal to potentially enter into position. And so I'm just going to pick one of these addresses. Uh, you know, full disclosure, I'm not telling you to copy trade this person. Okay, so definitely don't do that. This is not financial advice. I'm just using this as an example here. So I'm going to uh, click the filter button. Okay, um, and then when I do that, I can actually look at the address and copy it, and I can put it into Soul Scan. So if you go to SoulScan.io, all right, uh, this is the Block Explorer for Solana. I've already got the address pulled up here, but you can just paste it in. All right, click on address. And now you can see all the activity uh, from this wallet, all right? So what you're going to do is click on the uh, SPL transfers because these are the tokens that are getting traded uh, on these decentralized exchanges. And you can see the recent activity. Like this is a Mr. Frog token. You can see tokens that are entering into the wallet. If I click on this transaction, okay, you can see that um, it's interacting with pump.fun, okay? So we're going to ignore this type of stuff for now. This is harder to track. Pump.fun is a website where people can sort of speculate on tokens pre-market before they start trading on DEXs. Uh, so we're going to actually try to find transactions uh, where they're buying tokens on an open DEX market because that's easier to track the profitability of. All right, so if I scroll back a little bit, I can see a simple transaction here. All right, uh, I can see this one uh, was actually purchased on a decentralized exchange. All right, so if I look at this one, I click the uh, token right here. I can copy the address from SoulScan and go back to Dex Screener. All right, I got it pulled up, but I'll show you how to find it. Uh, you paste in the token address here. All right, and you can see uh, this token that was launched. And what you can do is you can filter by the maker address. You can paste it in there, click apply. And we can see a five sold buy uh, down when this was about a $12,000 market cap. And now it's at a $455,000 market cap at the time of recording this video. And just so you don't have to pull out your calculator, let's see your 455 divided by, let's just say 15. All right, that's a 30X. And so with that information in mind, we can see that this person, you know, obviously had a wild home run by identifying this coin early, but they also have a track record of finding other coins early as well before they blow up in price. Now, that being said, of course, you do not want to blindly copy trade people for several reasons, which I'll explain here in a minute. But that's one method where you can go look and find people who have proven track records of, you know, getting returns on coins on chain, looking at other projects they've got in on early on, and then start, you know, trying to watch what these people do in the future. Now, how can you do that? How can you actually look to see what they what they do next? Um, so you can do it a couple ways. One is you can bookmark a page like this, um, you know, in your web browser and just go check it periodically to see what positions they've entered. You could just sort of have a list of wallets that you watch and do that. Um, but that obviously takes time and energy. So what if you wanted to get notified about this? So you can use a Telegram bot for this. All right. And there's several different ones out there. I'm just going to mention one, the Solana Raybot wallet tracker. Okay. So what does it do? Well, basically, it's a Telegram bot. You can just find this, uh, you know, link here on Twitter. Look this account up and look at the Telegram channel here. And whenever you do, it'll open up a Telegram channel on your uh, app. Okay, you just click start. All right, if you don't have Telegram installed, you need to do that either on your phone uh, or on a desktop. All right. And what it'll do is there's a button that basically just says like, hey, you know, add a wallet to track. Okay, it's a couple different commands that you'll see. And what you can do is you can just paste in a wallet address, you know, on each line and you paste in the wallet address and you give it the name and you can specify, you know, what type of actions that you want to see from that wallet. Is it going to be for, you know, actual trade, just token transfer, sold transfers. You probably want to filter out stuff you don't care about, like sold transfers. You want to pay attention to uh, the tokens when they're actually traded. Uh, that being said, if you want to see all their activity, just to have more information, you can do that. Uh, if you do it on your phone, you can have push notifications uh, alerted for you anytime that, you know, something happens on chain related to that wall that you specify this application. That way you don't have to sit here and, you know, look at, um, you know, soul scan on a regular basis. You can just get notified straight on your phone. Okay, so now let's talk about some hard and fast rules for copy trading. All right, so rule number one is do not copy the address I showed you in this video, okay? Because again, this is not designed to be financial advice saying, hey, here is the person to follow. I'm showing you the thought process about how I can find people 
Uh, and then, you know, you can do the similar type of research to look up wallets that you might want to track, but not necessarily blindly follow, which I'll get into in a minute. All right. So uh, rule number two is you do not want to just like bet that you're going to find one wallet that you're going to be able to, you know, follow religiously and then just ride your way to the moon. Okay. Uh, because what you might find is some really profitable traders don't really trade that much. All right. They may enter into a position and let it just sit for a really long time. Uh, or there are certain traders that start, you know, doing things that you don't want to follow. Okay, the whole idea here is to have multiple different data sources. And what you can do is use this like a discovery tool, which brings me to my next point, which is do not copy trade blindly. Okay, because the last thing that you want to do is, you know, just do the exact same thing every single trader does. All right, because, you know, while some people are profitable in some trades, they're not always profitable on other trades. It's about the net effect, the net profitability that really makes up for everything in the long run. And if you only copy their losing trades, okay, and you blow yourself up, you're not going to stay in the game for the long term. You're not necessarily going to match your position size the same way that they would. So another reason not to blindly copy trade anybody is if somebody becomes really uh, popular, uh, like the person I showed you a minute ago, because they are the top trader for a specific token that everybody knows about on Dex Screener, they might, uh, you know, find out that people are trying to copy them. And so they may enter into positions uh, and exit those positions quickly because they know that other people are trading right after them. So you can see some examples of this type of thing where somebody buys in and they sell really quickly because they know as soon as they buy, it's going to trigger a wave of on-chain activity, all right? And then, uh, you know, other people might be selling right after them. You can see a spike just like that on the chart. So you can't always just uh, go in without discretion anytime somebody buys because they may sell right after you. Because what you really want to do is take the technique that I'm showing you in this video and use it as a discovery tool to find out about new projects before you start buying things. Just like you might use Dextrainer to look at what's trending right now, or filtered by other criteria like, you know, five minute volume increases, one minute volume increase, token creation time, et cetera, et cetera. This is just a different lens through which you can look at the market and find out about new entries or even new coins that you may not have known about before, but not necessarily just buying because a whale did, but discovering a token that you might want to do more due diligence on uh, in order to, you know, enter into that position. Which brings me to my last rule, which is never, ever, 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 ever automate copy trading. All right. If you're a developer and you know how to, you know, create bots like I teach you on this channel, you don't want to just blindly uh, copy trade somebody else uh, all the time because that's probably a surefire way to lose money. All right. Um, and then, or if you have a bot that automates copy trading, uh, you definitely want to do, don't want to do that with any sizable amount of money because you could probably blow yourself up. All right. So that's an overview of how to find profitable crypto traders on the blockchain and track their wallets for profit. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you have any specific wallets that you like to track? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. It's my goal to get to a million subscribers before this bull run ends so you can really help me out by subscribing. And as always, while there's a ton of opportunity to make some quick money by trading crypto, the absolute best way to make it long term in this space is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you that step by step from start to finish over at dappadversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.